Jonathan Morpurgo. People often know me as Jomo. And this is the apartment where I'm staying in the West Village in Manhattan. And uh, this is Gilbert, uh, one of my 2018 rainbow kefia scarves um, under my... What's a kefia scarf? Kefia is uh, it's the oldest woven garment. It's a square. <laughs> like, it's a big square of uh -huh. cotton. Um, like, the, tr the houndstooth weave represents fishermen in the Euphrates River. Uh, uh, it was invented by the Sumeritans, Sumerians, with, like a, pr a proto-Semitic uh, group that lived in Iraq and uh, Syria. And um, Where are these scarves worn? They're worn in, um, well, in mainstream fashion, but also in desert regions, like the Saudi royals wear them. Uh, mine have um, a, a houndstooth weave, which is like uh, more traditional for uh, northern India, where these are made, um, and also worn because it's a desert region not far from the Middle East. So um, I, the factory that I was that I work with. Was black and white kefias in the whole in, in the wholesale district and then tie-dye them and I'd already kind of designed this like squeegee mold, like six squeegee uh, uh, system where I was gonna like spray in the color and uh, get a tie-dye thing and Gilbert Baker um, who Gilbert I know Baker is the, the inventor of the gay pride flag right. um, sat me down in his living room and told me that that was a terrible idea and he was going to be very insulted if his rainbow is crappily tie-dyed on uh, on a kefia and that I need to go get it woven. And um, so the process is dye thread, like turn the cotton into thread, then then weave, then tie it. Do you knots, dye the cotton tassels. before it's turned into thread? Yeah. Well, I don't, but that that's the process. Okay. The, I have to basically order my color choices and uh, quantities in advance for the for for the cotton to be d purchased and dyed by the uh, by the factory. And who makes these? Who who works? I mean, who is the one? There's so, in this mainly. It's a family uh, business in Rajasthan. <laughs> And, and who so, does all the tying of knots and all this? Little old ladies. Labor. And actually, like, my second design, uh, which is actually, like, a, a redo of my original, it's a reorder of my original, uh, like, wo like machine woven, is a jacquard loom that, in their case, is run by punch cards still, instead of by a digital proce uh, process, is... Um, it is done by machine and then all the knots and all these like tassels are hand done and when I requested multicolor tassels because see the tassels too have rainbows um, the uh, women who d did the, do the knots wanted a uh, who do the tassels wanted a 17 cents a day raise and I said yes because I never argue for price like my strategy at least at the beginning was because my cash flow is to ask for more leniency and time to pay. I didn't end up needing all that time and then retroactively I hit um, a, an order quantity level where they started giving me quantity discounts anyway. But I, 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 originally, I immediately said yes to the women who wanted 17 cents a day and my fabric broker laughed at me and dropped the topic. And usually... Then it came up again, and I thought, thought I said, "Well, I thought we already agreed to that." And he said, and so he giggled and, and, and kept going. Then the then it came up back. Then like two weeks later, it came up, and I said, and I actually asked him, "So like the price now reflects the 17 cents?" And he said, "Oh, you were serious? I thought you, you I thought we were going to negotiate them down to 10 cents at least. But uh, okay, if that's what you want." And so I have like I, the, so m the workshop I work with is. Uh, one of the better paying ones in the entire province. Or it's, it's a sovereign kingdom or something within the Now what are you trying to do with these? You're, this is a, so kind of a this rainbow, is, but so not, this one's called not the really recognizably that much as rainbow. Um, I disagree. This looks like a rainbow. What makes it look different than most rainbows is that it's sort of a natural finish and 
it's uh, it looks hand worked and you know cottony and quality produced as opposed to most printed most, rainbow I, products. I don't want to argue with you, but I'd say that most people Give that would say that. Okay, Gilbert. The most people that would see that that scarf would not think in terms of like the rainbow flag. Isn't that sort of like getting a little bit? Dare I say, closety about your designs because you seem to be creating a a scarf here aimed at appealing to people that want to wear the rainbow without really appearing to wear the rainbow. Well, why do they want to wear the rainbow? Because I've had people come up and you know get excited that I have a Buddhist scarf they project because it has the colors of the chakras. And what are the it, chakras. Like, it's the energy yep. fields in Eastern philosophy that are in the body, oh. and they have colors that kind oh. of match the rainbow. And so I had people really enthusiastically, like, recognize that, even in, like, my more, like, convoluted-looking designs, oh. and jump in and, like, want to buy, like, a pack of them for their meditation group uh, oh. or their yoga group. So, like, that actually happened in England. Uh, oh. and, and also in New York, where people... Think that it th think that it's a, a Buddhist rainbow sort of a gay rainbow or a, a, a chakra rainbow. They told me Buddhist, which I, I think is. I know there's some thing, difference. The gay rainbow has an extra color or an extra stripe or something. Okay, so right? so before this, the Gilbert <laughs> evening on my website. Uh, Tahrirscarf.com, T A H R I R dot C O M, T A H R I R S C A R F dot C O M. But, um, so there's still a few of them left on my website to, buy, to sell. But um, that was uh, chosen by Gilbert's mother to wear at his memorial service. And so that's why this one got named the Gilbert. And Gilbert told me he was very was very enthusiastic of the politics of putting the his his rainbow on the kafia but he only gave me the 94 rainbow six colors from the 95 was it 95 or 94 Randy you know better than me I don't. when they did the mile long um, oh, yeah. uh, rainbow flag for Heritage of Pride. Right. And it was done at Statlander's Pharmacy. They like sat there in the evenings and sewed when the when the AIDS uh, compounding uh, pharmacy was uh, was closed in the evenings. And um, because of the amount of fabric to be bought and the amount of seam s sewing, they cut out um, aqua marine and pink from the 1978 original Gilbert flag of of eight colors, and he considered the eight color flag personal. The rainbow go cross, but then yeah. intersecting it, the main message to me was about quality and about workmanship and about like managing production. Uh, so it, it was, it, it became, it, and, and, about, and also about like why he, you know, and about like social and, and, and political groups that we were involved in and why he it was left some and. In any case, um, the, uh, uh, the 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 I, I I'm he has he had no intellectual property on any of it, but he would be very upset. He said if I did a an eight color rainbow, he only like gave me the blessing for the six color rainbow, uh, which is like the corporate like New York everywhere rainbow, and I, I was fine with that because it was like such a challenge anyway. I'd never done a, a fashion production project, but then I came up with the Sylvia. Sylvia? Here's Sylvia and Sylvia Rivera? Exactly. Your buddy, Randy. <laughs> or the manager of your friend, store. Buddy's so, not the right word. So you still have the rainbow going across, but then yeah. intersecting it is the trans flag. Five. So it's um, five, uh, five times... So it's 30 rows. So five times the six color rainbow <laughs> from there. Then the trans flag has five stripes in it, so six times the trans flag this way. And you see, like, then I got my aquamarine and my pink into the rainbow without having to, like, violate my commitment to, rain to now deceased Gilbert. And this is the Enkidu, which is my most popular scarf. How do you call that? Enkidu. How do you, is there a card on that? Yep. Yeah. The rainbow, um, 
uh, the Rainbow Catalog, or the, yeah. sorry, it's called the Pride Catalog, advised me to name each of my designs. And they told me, well, since you're going to a radical fairy gathering, you know, tomorrow or the next day, why don't you, um, this was in San Francisco, why, why don't you name them after just, like, radical fairies that you know? But then I thought, no, no, this is, a, like, this is a, a, originally an Iraqi garment, and the first gay literary uh, character actually comes from there. And who's that? Is that that's Enkidu? Enkidu, yeah. Enkidu? And who, who is he? The boyfriend of Gilgamesh. Story I'm not familiar with. So, oldest uh, literature is the Epic of Gilgamesh, and, you know, he's the king of Ur. <laughs> That are eight, eight. How, com how come we haven't heard of any of these stories in? Oh, because it's very in, repressed in, in Middle Eastern, Eastern culture, and so most of my scarf names are named after Middle Eastern people that, or or, or mythological uh, characters that are obviously queer. Uh, like I have a Jammy, which is uh, that's a I think one of the more important Arab language poets, and he and. Uh, uh, there is um, a Nuas. Nuas was my first gray, like black, white, gray uh, no. configuration cross weave. Uh, it kind of got me into this whole poet series. So how many? You have a, a you have a great variety of these scarves, right? Yeah, yeah. So um, what I want to know is what is your what is your real uh, goal? I assume besides this is the uh, Saudi. That's another one named after. Um, and uh, uh, another one named after it's alternating black and white stripes. Uh -huh. That's the. Um, it's another one named after uh, a Middle Eastern writer. Um, yeah. I have a George for George Washington because there's a like a literary um, and cultural theory that I subscribe to that says that he was gay. I Don't you think you're reaching a bit there? Um, I don't want to. I don't want to knock your. My uh, my, my buddy da Dan Macy oh, was into uh, taught me that theory, and he's deceased now too, actually. But, but uh, oh. his 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 uh, widow lives in New York, and I, I I I tend to believe it because based on like my limited knowledge of American history and circumstance. But okay. this is the Rosie. It sold out when it as a classic, like when it was still like the alternating week. Ro Rosie is what does Rosie stand for? Um, it's uh, Rosa Luxemburg and Rosa, the mother of my friend Gary, and uh, Shosh, my grandmother, is also t like was originally Rosa, and yeah. a lot of um, uh, so basically everyone named Rose I, that I've ever run into. There's a couple couple of fairies named Rosie uh, are really amazing, and it's a, like a, a hot pink you know, configuration of the rainbow, so I thought... When you're saying a hot pink, you mean it's a rainbow printed on hot pink, or what? There's no printing involved. The, okay, so you see no, how... I mean, yeah. The, so there's, in, when, in weaving, there's a warp and a weft. Yeah. So the, what, the, the pattern that comes down this way, like these... Old, like the... Saxon for the past tense of weave is weft and so that's what goes across and in this case the the cross weave the, the cross weave is in pink and it used to be like a like the classic was actually like a, a a shade of hot pink that was almost red and then I did another one with, with like a, which is called slight pink which just gives it like a wash of pink. Who buys these and why do they buy them? Do you have any any feedback on that or any Pretty Story colors, and it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's this is one of the most wearable. Like, look at it. It's, this is the most wearable way to to put on a rainbow. Like, if you're gonna wear, you know, if if you're going to wear. Okay, now this um, is this a, isn't like the a, gilbert. A rainbow, this is a different one, right? That's the Enki do again. You've already okay. seen this one. Okay. So, here we go around, right? And yeah. then you take the 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 ends because you start off with a triangle, and you take the ends that went around the cor the, your head. 
and you pull them through and out to the side. And you can tighten this way or loosen this way. Like, zhuzh the, you know, zhuzh the tassels to be like as showy as you can, or as you want. Adjustable. Well, who, who has been buying these? Are More you... women than men. What kind of response do you get? I mean, are people that are very excited? Because frankly, a lot of these scarves I can see wearing without anyone having any idea about the statement that I'm making regarding gender or well, sexual orientation politics. Well, I don't have a politics. specific, like, I, I'm not a po political expert. I mean, I, ha I, have my, my, I have my opinions, but uh, they're not more valid than anyone else's. So I, you know, I, and, I, I, and, you know and I have my observations. I do activism a lot, but I thought that, like, a visual answer of solidarity with the human rights of... Um, queer people everywhere was what my community, which is sort of the the, the, the queer left, um, needed. Uh, I think that, like, I, I think that there's too much of a focus on, uh, like, nationalism or homo-nationalism or post-nationalism uh, and not enough on individual human rights and s solidarity. Uh, so, I mean, I'm working now with Hedras, which is third gender people. I'm starting a couple of new products that are exciting, and they're the models. And also, I'm, uh, I'm working with the, the same fabric broker that, that I do all my India business with uh, to help fund a clinic in, uh, in the town in Rajasthan. Which is not, that's not big money, but it's, it helps a little bit. Uh, the, um... How about giving them employment? Well, yes, I, yeah, I hired, yeah, I, I've, I've hired three. But it's not me directly, but I instructed, uh, I, I instructed the, you know, my, my instructions for the photography was all the models have to be third gender. Which apparently, I oh, said Hedra, there, there but pictures of third, de third gender models where? On your website? I, I haven't released the product yet. They haven't oh. arrived in America, but it's like I'm 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 pretty happy with what with what I designed. Um, actually, my birthday was not that long ago, and eight twenty three a.m. on my birthday. What day is that? February twenty third. So on uh, twenty three minutes, like you know, like I get woken up with it. I sleep up there, and I like. I You know, who's, who, whose family business now, you know, finances me because they loan me the money to, to produce and then I pay them after I sell. Uh, it's like, a, because, you know, I started small and worked my way up, so now they, they trust me. Actually, they treat me like a, a department store with, like, a like, like a credit line. And, uh, like, I've never returned a product. I've never had a product returned, but theoretically, we, I could negotiate backwards on, on, on things that have already been delivered that aren't of quality. Um, we've, um, so, uh, and like from the beginning, actually what I liked about my fabric broker was he was uh, very controlling in a, in a constructive way. And I realized that, I, that if I just worked with this guy, I, the project was gonna happen and I, I wouldn't, he wouldn't allow me to totally fail. And uh, so I, 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 we went, um, we met on a Chinese website that does, uh, th that you can bid to, to have things produced. And, you know, I got, you know, thousands of responses, but only like a hundred of them obviously could, uh, you know, had read the thing and understood what I wanted. And, you know, he was already producing st similar stuff. And, you know, his, his grandfather... Oh. Because <laughs> you know, it's like it's all a bunch of lines and die numbers, and uh, and, and and weave patterns uh, crossing each other, and um, so his grandfather translates uh, the Excel spreadsheet into punch cards uh, that operate their jacquard loom, and uh, so yeah, it's I, like so I, I've gone to a couple of like startup things so that technically I have a, a like a successful fashion startup, which I, I, it was something I never thought I would I, I was interested in or would do. And uh, so, so we're working. Uh, we're getting a little bit short on time. Where?
Can people find your website? Oh, T A H R I R dot sorry, T A H R I R S C A R F dot C O M careerscarf.com. You can um, f please follow me on Twitter. It's T A H R I R S C A R F at uh, you know with the little at symbol in the front or the hashtag whichever. And uh, then um, uh, website, Facebook. Um, if you email me, if your community group is interested, I'll, I'll sell you, if, as long as you order a minimum of 20, you can have them for $7.50. Uh, if you have like some kind of a, a mission that I would be proud to feature on my website, I, I would happily give you the, the wholesale price. Is that they one of the ways you've been 20. selling these or through community groups? Yeah, that they're better than the stores to work with. And, uh, I mean, volume-wise, I've mostly sold to other businesses. Well, I mean, I'm incorporating as a 501c3 nonprofit. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be the, the... And now I'm Tavir Scarf, Joe Moco. But uh, I think by after this Pride, I'll be... Or by the end of 2018, I'll be the Rainbow Kafia Foundation. So I, I could just, you know, pay myself a salary, pay my expenses, not worry too much about negotiating down prices for things and uh then you know i can use the, what's left of it to like fund me and my board, board of directors doing good things i think mostly so helping the most downtrodden gay people you know the most downtrodden part of the glbt spectrum which is the hedras of of india the hedras are the transsexuals yeah yeah but their their concept of transsexual is a lot older than ours and <laughs> Third, this third sex, right? Yeah, or Narween, they call it. It's uh, yeah. They, 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 but they're like it's it's not it, it's not the modern sex change, uh, not the modern gender cause. Is it close to two spirit to people? Yes. Oh. Okay. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Morpurgo. Oh, thank you, and, Mr. Wicker. <laughs> Let's go to your sip in memorial. <laughs> sure or, will. Or, or anniversary party. Okay. Thank you.